Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing another one of these prime hydration drinks and this one is going to be on the KSI flavour, which is orange and mango. So I know I'm very late to the party with this one, however, I literally couldn't find this one at all. No matter what shop I went into, I was managed to get all the others which are there, but I could not find this one to save my life. I used a prime tracking app, I did this, and I just couldn't get hold of it for whatever reason. So they're obviously limited, obviously supply edition, so I literally had to go on the bidding wall on eBay because I thought, right, it's getting too late now, I'm never going to get hold of a bottle. I paid £13 for it on eBay with a bidding wall. So whatever, but the things I do for you guys. But to be honest, I wanted the bottle for my collection anyway, so think of it like that. Anyways, so one last thing as well, just, just a disclaimer before I start this video as well. Kind of sad that I'm having to do this in 2024 and beyond uh, in today's world. But unfortunately, people have been obviously overhyping the drink, overreacting, basically, you know, doing fake reviews, fake this, fake that, just to get views, clicks and likes. I'm not about that. I'm 100% honest and genuine. And you guys have been watching me for a while. You'll know that I always tell the truth. So what I'm saying is, if I like the drink, I'll tell you. If I think it's disgusting, I'll tell you. There'll be no one sided. You know, it's just a drink at the end of the day. So anyways, let's get to the review. So let's give you guys a 4360 of the bottle. So we actually have um, one of the better looking bottle designs actually. I think this is one of my favorites. I know the Glowberry is my favorite because it literally glows in the dark and it's got black and obviously uh, bright lime green, which of course is my favorite color, hence Zesty Lime. And then I think the Meta Moon bottle is pretty cool as well, but this one is pretty dope. It's got like, I don't know, kind of, I guess just patterns really. I think it's like a flower or something, or I don't know, it's just a mixture of, uh, I know this is a mixture of patterns and stuff. Looks very, very cool though. But yeah, we've also got the usual Prime logo, which sticks out like a sore thumb on any shelf. Just the ingredients on the back, as you'd expect. And then just a little bit down the side. On the bottom, we've got nothing. And on the top, we've got a big black cap as well. So taking a close look at the bottle. So no artificial flavorings, which is good. 500 ml bottle. So what it says on the side here is, it's official, Prime is now in the UK. Yeah, because this was obviously one of the earlier bottles you see, so this is why I wanted to get it before they literally just disappeared forever. Um, or before they got out of date where people stopped that they've got hoarding trying to sell them for 20, 30 pounds on eBay. So it's official, Prime is now in the UK. We're thrilled to be here on KSI's home turf. From Leeds to London, we're bringing the refreshment you love right to your neighborhood. Cheers to knowledge, strength, integrity, and of course, hydration. Whereas all the other bottles now say basically, you know, um, we we love it as we hope you love it as much as we do. Uh, basically, humbly the prime team. So obviously, that's the old uh, message. Anyway, 10.5% coconut water, 250 milligrams of BCAAs, which is branch chain amino acids, B vitamins, antioxidants, and 700 milligrams of electrolytes. So reading the back of the bottle, so we have filtered water, which is nice. Uh, the sweeteners are, let's see, Sewer Close and the Sewer Flame Case, another spa to me, which is good. And obviously it says coconut water, because obviously these are based off coconut water, because there's a current trend with, you know, hydration drinks and coconut water drinks currently. Uh, sugar content is only two grams per bottle, which again is super, super low, which is nice. And apart from that, of course, they're caffeine free because it's the hydration rather than the energy drink. But so apart from that, there's not much, not much else of interest on the Packaging, so it says shake well before use, which we will. Remember, it's not fizzy, so it's not going to explode over my desk. Well, it shouldn't anyway, so. I'm looking forward to this. This is just one of the flavors I actually really wanted from day one because it sounded nice, orange and mango, and frankly, I never get, never got hold of it, so. So that's giving it a good shake. So, oh dear, there's quite a lot of bubbles there. I have to be careful with that. So, I said, nice and cold, got my Zesty Dom Studios cup. So nevertheless, well, let's open it and hopefully it won't explode over me. Yeah, the bubbles have gone down now, so we are safe. I know we can see the colour, but we always pour it into a cup because, you know, we always do, it's easier. Right, here we go, cracking open a fresh bottle of KSI Prime. There we go. So, the colour is... Yeah, as we saw, surprise, surprise, it's some sort of yellowy, uh, orangey colour. In fact, it matches my t-shirt, actually, which is um, pretty funny. Yeah, it matches my uh, 
pure energy boost t-shirt well kind of but it's along the yellow lines so yeah the color is yellow as you can see and it is cloudy and it is non-see-through as you well i mean yeah it is non-see-through it's not 100 percent non-see-through you can kind of see an outline but for the most part you cannot see my face through the drink yeah just a nice yellow color so let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of smells pretty nice it's kind of got a more mangoey smell more than anything now obviously brief reminder as well obviously this is orange and mango now bear in mind they did actually release the orange which is i think there the orange was actually super super nice so interesting whether they've added mango to it so we'll see obviously you know how it tastes but yeah it smells of mango it smells all right a little bit orange smell in there but for the most part is mangoes yeah definitely more on the mango side well, finally guys, here we go. Looking forward to it. Nevertheless, let's taste some. Initial reaction, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it, it's okay. It, it's pretty decent, to be fair. Definitely was um, I definitely wasn't expecting it to be the best flavor of all time because it's pretty hard to be Meta Moon and Glowberry. Let's be honest. But that does have a nice orange and mango mixed together. It is different to the orange because the orange prime, again without spoiling the video, which I have reviewed it on my channel, that's very very orangey and very nice for that reason. But this definitely has got a good mango mix to it as well, which is exactly what I'd hoped with this drink. So you've got that good blend of orange and mango, but because it's got mango in the drink, the, the orange feels like it's more of a tropical orange rather than say, again, the other prime, the pure orange one, that's more of, that feels like more actual orange, if that makes sense. Because I know you can get, I know there's, again, hundreds of different varieties of orange around the world. You've got bigger ones, small ones, satsumas and all this nonsense. So obviously this feels, more of like a tropical orange which is not a bad thing but for this specific flavor and, and drink it does work really well so yeah it's it, it, it's nice it's okay you know i'm not jumping on down about it but it, it is it is it is nice now again even for it being low sugar and having bcaa's and stuff and all this nonsense and stuff there's no weird chemical taste no weird artificial tastes or anything like that which is brilliant and again what you'd expect um you know from a drink that charges normally £1.99 a bottle uh, which is you know still expensive in itself but um yeah I mean I said the drink is hard to get hold of now or pretty much non-existent so if you haven't got it at this chance then you know ugh, you have to pay a lot on eBay but yeah it's it's nice it's fine it's nice so let me take a few more sips yes yeah, definitely it is definitely more on the mango side yeah. But the thing is with this flavour though, I'm kind of getting the vibe that if it wasn't packaged up as prime, in all honesty, you wouldn't actually know that's actually prime flavour. Because even though that is very nice, as, as nice as it is, if this was say a generic orange and mango, you know, juice drink out of a supermarket, you I'm, probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference in all honesty. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you put Prime and then another orange and mango drink in front of me. And I think maybe that's the main issue with this particular flavor, that it doesn't distinguish itself enough like the Meta Moon and the Glowberry and everything else. And I know the lemonade and the orange and stuff are more simple flavors, but just for comparison standards, it's like, you know, okay, maybe so. But at the end of the day, you try it once, you pick it up, fine. So, but yeah, the question is, how many zesties shall I give this out of 10? In all honesty, I think eight. Hey, I mean, I would drink it again, but definitely not over some of the other flavors. So eight zesties out of 10, but in terms of where it ranks on my prime prime thing, it's probably somewhere about the middle. It's 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 above the green and probably, it's, just, it's above the green and below the um, below the orange, in all honesty. Um, it's probably, it's below the strawberry and watermelon as well, because that strawberry one is pretty decent. So yeah, somewhere about in the middle, which I think is just about right for this flavor. So there you go guys, that's Prime, KSI. I'm so glad I finally got a bottle of it, as I'm currently having a bidding war to get a grape Prime, which are super expensive, but that's for a different video. As always, viewers, 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.